Breaking news. Headlines are hitting the wires right now on NAFTA. After a second day of meetings, Mexico's economy minister is telling reporters that the U.S., Mexico, and Canada could land a renegotiated NAFTA deal before, are you ready for this, before the end of this month. He is saying that there's a, quote, very good chance Mexico and the U.S. will resolve key issues as soon as next week. Among them was the sunsetting. President Trump wanted uh, the, NAFTA, the modernized NAFTA to sunset. We don't know if that is one of the issues, but that was a big sticking point. You know, ever since President Trump's steel and aluminum tariffs on foreign steel and aluminum went into effect back in March, more than 20,000 people who run companies applied for waivers, 20,000 hitting the desks of Commerce Department employees. An analysis is showing that 760 requests have been approved and 552 have been denied as of July 29th. So fewer than 2,000 of these 20, 21,000 applications have even been dealt with. One company that applied for a waiver is a 150-year-old American industrial company. It's called Woodings Monroe. It was founded by the great, 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 great grandfather of my next guest. They make manufacturing equipment for the petrochemical power generation and steel industries. He applied for a waiver, and here now in a Fox Business exclusive is Robert Woodings to tell us, sir, I know, but I want you to tell our viewers, you waited, you were anxious, did you get the waiver? We did get the waiver, Liz, and thank you for having me today. This waiver has been very important for us. We did our homework. Uh, it was a very difficult process, but with full transparency by the government, we were able to attain the waiver. For this product. You are not a huge company. You are in no. Pittsburgh. You are a small, obviously family owned. Did I get the, the number of greats correctly of your grandfather who founded this? It's great, great grandfather, yes. Okay. Um, you have to tell me back in the 1800s, how would he have felt about these tariffs? And here's the waiver on your screen, everybody. And when you saw that, what was the first thought? Well, it gave me great piece because this is a product that we use for a bigger operation. It's like a razor blade that we use in equipment we build for the integrated steel industry. So our position is a bit unique. We needed a waiver for a product that would support the U.S. domestic steel industry. So we went through a very long detailed discussion with uh, BIS and after that review, they came to the conclusion that this was imperative that we grant the waiver. BIS the is, waiver. of course, the Bureau of Industry and Security who's yes. deciding whether to grant people waivers. So it's a little confusing to our viewers. You said they granted it because the U.S. steel industry depends on you. However, the product that you need to buy foreign steel for is what specifically? Explain that to our viewers. It is a hollow drill steel that's used in the tapping operation for blast furnaces. Integrated steel makers used to make iron, which is then turned into steel. The last U.S. manufacturer went out of business in 1987. We had an arrangement with a Canadian manufacturer that went out of business in 2000. Oof. Both these operations went out of business due to unfair trade practices, and we were required to set up a, a joint venture in South Africa initially to produce this product. It has very, very specific mechanical and uh, material uh, requirements, and most importantly, it has a hole down the middle of it, which doesn't sound that complicated, but it's very difficult to produce. Mm -hmm. And without that, our integrated steel producers would be unable to uh, produce the steel they make. So our biggest clients are U.S. Steel, uh, AK Steel, and ArcelorMittal in North America. I see. Although so, we do work all over the world. So it's clear that, that this would have been a real problem for your customers, but what about you and your company? Um, uh, how desperate yeah. were you to get this waiver? How close were you? Because well, you, you apparently told the government, we'll, we'll go out of business. How close were you? Yeah, it was a very difficult process. Uh, it, it has not been something that the government's taken lightly. They view this exclusion process seriously, and you, uh, you need to make sure that you have the right information. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a small quantity that we buy. It's about 1,500 kilograms a year, mm -hmm. so less than 3,000. Uh, tons a year. So this is a product that is difficult to source. Would you have gone out of business, sir, if you hadn't gotten this waiver? That aspect of our business would have gone out of business. Yes, indeed. That would have gone, we would have failed to be able to operate that side of our business. And how many employees do you have? 
Yeah, so our total employment is about 300 at this stage. Uh, we've hired 50 in the last, let, I think, six months, and we're on our way to probably hire another 100 if we can. Uh, this segment of the operation has about 150 employees in it, and it's a long-term business. We've got one employee that's been there 54 years, oh. so it's a very dedicated workforce. Um, it would have been very, very difficult for us you and may our, be hearing clients, from a our clients. You may be hearing from a lot of companies who say, what did you do right on the waiver? I'm holding the waiver in my hand. Uh, congratulations. Um, thank you. A, a little bit of a stay of execution, it sounds like, at least for part of your business, sir. Thank you very and, much. Indeed. I think the key for us was transparency. Transparency with the, uh, with the, the uh, trade, uh, the BIS. We were very transparent, shared the information, mm -hmm. and they were very responsive to that attitude. They, they apparently were. Uh, Robert Woodings, thank you so much for joining us. And by thank the you, way, Liz. Have a great um, day. You too. And by the way, we are working on getting a company that was rejected from its waiver. So as soon as we can get that.